Hello, instructors. We are going to take a look at our game Chaos Theory. And again, we are going to demonstrate it with different numbers. So when the number of participants on your court change, of course, we're starting with eight, which is our ideal number. All right, here we go. Players ready? All right, Lark, this is you. Ready, go. Start running, track it, track it. Good. Oh, she starts right off with the lob. That is a winner. You are over, over. All right, I'm going to give him a little bit of time. Lizzie, go. Track, track, track. Remember when you come over here, you're going to change sides. We are playing. That's a winner. Come on over. Very nice. This is going to be Scott on my go and go. Scott and Joey running. All right, so you can see the player on the inside takes the feed. Both players run out. We are very competitive, this group. That's nice, that is just out. Okay, to the ladder, to the ladder. My players here touch the ball. Olivia, go. This is Olivia and Jolene. Track it, track it, track it. That's it. Winner, all right. They tap the net, wait, wait, for, come on back. Wait for my go. Yeah, I know, I know. It's, it's very exciting, it's very exciting. All right, that's great, you changed sides. All right, Owen, go. All right, track it, track it, track it. Winner, that's an over, very nice. All right, I'm gonna pause here for a second. You guys are doing great. So instructors, the setup of this game always looks like this. There is a ladder back there. There is a ladder here. The pattern back there is the shuffle step. This is gonna be a hop on one foot. If they can't do hop on one foot, they're gonna hop on two feet. If they can't do that, you can let them run through the ladder. You can do two feet, you need to modify. Over here, they're intensifier. They happen to be doing crisscrosses, right? Again, my defending team, if they, were, if they keep defending, they have to do a movement pattern. In this case, it's a sprint to the net, okay? I could also make them sprint all the way to the baseline. I could set up a spot out here. I could make them recover to the outside of the court. We're going to the net on this one. Also, in the context of the game, again, I would always change sides because I need to work both sides of the body. We're not going to do that right now. Now, again, I have a very skilled and fit group, okay? We are pretty much a high, high group, high fitness, high skill. Again, you will mostly have medium, medium. So, let me show you the difference in feeds. You guys are not going to chase these balls, okay? And again, you guys can just rest right now, take a break, okay? So if I have high, high, my feet is gonna look a little more like this. It's gonna be much deeper. It's gonna be much more challenging. <clears throat> Many of us have older clientels, right? So in some cases, my feet might actually look like this, right? Is that appropriate for the person? Yes, it is. Are they still getting the appropriate workout? Yes, they are. So again, you as the instructor, needs to challenge those that need to be challenged with the feed or modify it for those that need that modification. All right, you guys are doing great. Let's go down to seven. So who would like to take a break? John's gonna take a break. Thank you, John. So again, seven is just an odd number. So you guys just need to be aware that you're not gonna have the same partner. All right, we're ready to play. All right, this is Joey. Joey and Scott, our team. Joey, go. Track it, track it, very nice. That is just out, you're over, you're over. This is Jolene, go, track it, track it. Out, oh, is it in? All right, they go to the ladder. All right, this is Lizzie, go Lizzie, track it. She has a new partner with Owen. Tough, all right, that's to the ladder. All right, very nice. All right, we're gonna drop out to six. Who would like to take a rest? All right, Owen's gonna rest. Ladies, can you pick up the spots and bring them to that side? Lizzie, can you grab the ladder, bring it to that side, you guys can stay. All right, again, we always wanna change sides. So if I'm playing Chaos Theory, that will be played for 10 minutes. So for five minutes, I'm gonna play the right side. For five minutes, I'm gonna play the left side. So again, nothing has changed except for the direction of our rotation. So I have Jolene on the inside, on the right side. She will be the one touching the ball. 
As we get down to six, obviously that's going to be, it's going to become a little more physical for my participants. All right, and again, gentlemen, you are going to, I'm going to ask you to touch this. Uh, no, it's too physical. So you're going to touch, you're going to st stick with the net. 60 foot line would be way too much. All right, Jolene, are you ready? Everybody's bouncing, go. Track it, track it. Okay, that would be out. They go to the ladder. You guys are touching the net. Olivia, go. Track it. Good, good, good. That is just out. End of the line. Skip the ladder. This is Lark. Here we go. Track it, track it. Skip the ladder. Get with your partner. Yep. Yep. It's the only time you skip the ladder when you got to get in to touch a ball. End of the line, ladies. Here we go. This is Olivia. Olivia, go. Okay, out of the ladder, Lizzie. Yep. All right, that is an, that way, yep, this way, this way, yeah, 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 here we go, yeah, that always gets everybody. Ready, Jolene, track it, track it. Oh, that's tough. Jolene, here you go, here you go, one more, one more. Play again, play again. Okay, that is a rotation. All right, take a pause. So instructors, notice there I just go, gave Jolene a second ball. So here's the deal. If you're not keeping score, okay, and especially with a tough feed like this, give them a second, uh, a second chance, all right? Nobody's playing for a big, big check. This is not the US Open, okay? And it's not fun to miss and have to rotate. This is a touches on the ball class. Now, if you are keeping score, that's gonna be a little bit different. All right, we're gonna drop down to five participants. So who would like to take a rest? Okay, Lizzie's gonna take a rest. So, Here's how this is going to work. We're gonna try, we're gonna demo this two different ways. <clears throat> so Joey and Scott, you're my first team. Actually, let me retract that. You are now singles, okay? So single file line. So Scott, you're gonna go first. You're gonna track the ball. You're gonna play it out two versus one. My doubles players can only hit into the singles court and my singles player gets the full court. Same rotation, are we good? All right, let's see what happens. All right, everybody's ready? All right, so I'm going to make the feed easier so I'm not putting my singles player in a, a super stress situation. The other rule I'm going to institute is your volleys have to go past the service line. If they don't, you lose the point. All right. Ready, go. Track it, track it. Oh, that's tough. Great get, Scott. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, was that in? It was out. So that's a circle. Come on over. Yep, 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 yep. All right, Olivia, ready, go. Track it. I'm going to keep you more to the middle of the court here. She goes for the nice lob. Overheads can go anywhere. It's just the volley. All right, she goes to the ladder. Joey, this is you. Track it. Go. Go, go, go. Touch the net. That is just out. He goes to the ladder. Jolene, here we go. Run. Run, run, run. Yep, yep, yep. Nice. Just out. Touch the net. Olivia. Oh, that's tough. All right, I know. We got the backhand, you guys. Joey, go. Joey, right here. Joey, Joey, here we go. Here we go. Put the ball in play. My feed was too challenging. Nice volley. Just out. That's a circle. Right, wait. All right, excellent work, you guys. How are we feeling? Good. Good. Huffing and puffing. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to play this, we're going to play it half court. So, Scott, for, I'm going to ask you to come out. All right, I'm still going to feed. Now we're going to play that half of the court. So Joey's side. So anything that comes on this side is out. So basically, basically you're playing down the line. Volley can go anywhere. Alley is good. All right, Scott and Lark, go ahead, start on that ladder over there. All right, Jolene, are you ready? All right, here we go. Track it. Track it. Again, again. Here we go. Play it out. That is out, that's an over, that's an over. Here we go, 
All right, Olivia, go. Track it. That's an over. Wait, gotta get, gotta give her, gotta give her time to get it. Now go, Lark. Here we go. Track it. Track it. That is out. She's in the ladder. Go, Scott. Go. Track. Okay, over. Joey, ready? You got it. That is out. At to the ladder. Jolene, go. Track it. Tough. All right, you guys, high fives all around. Nice job. All right. So, participants, let me ask you, which version did you like better? When, when we, with the five. So you had, you had the half court, okay, or you had the one versus two with the five. Which one did you prefer? One versus two. One versus two. Okay, so, we, so we're half and half, right? So I... I, I so instructors, I feel there, you need to gauge your audience. Um, the, for me personally, I think the half court goes a little bit slower. I think people are on deck longer, so I don't, I don't like that part of it. But if you, again, maybe if the participants on your court are middle-middle or they are more senior or they're more low skill, then that half the court might be more appropriate for them. Make sense? All right, you guys, that was great. Thank you very much. That is chaos theory.